On this occasion, I am going to explain the timers in detail, I am also going to explain how you should connect the circuit, either for lighting or for controlling electric motors. So, I invite you to continue watching this video. A timer is a device that allows us to adjust the connection or disconnection time of an electrical circuit after an order is generated. These devices are widely used in industry and automation. Timers can be classified as electric, pneumatic, and electronic. These can work with connection or disconnection delay. First, let's define and see the differences between a delay on timer and a delay disconnect timer. Timer on delay, known by its abbreviation TON. It allows connection to the circuit by switching its contacts after a certain time after the activation signal has been generated. Let's understand all this better with a small example. On the left side a small circuit is shown where the TON timer coil is represented as shown, inside the box in X. Its corresponding contact is 1518, which will switch after the delay set in the timer has expired. If we close the S contact to energize the K coil, then the connection delay time begins to time. When this time is up, the auxiliary contact K switches and closes to allow current to pass and energize the indicator H. If we open contact S to de-energize the coil, contact K of the timer immediately changes state and disconnects the circuit, since it only acts at the time of connection but not at disconnection. Timer off delay, known by its abbreviation TOF. It allows the circuit to be disconnected by switching its contacts to their default state after a certain time after the deactivation signal is generated. Let's understand all this better with a small example. On the right side a small circuit is shown where the TOF timer coil is represented as shown, part of the symbol is painted black, which indicates that it is a timer with a disconnection delay. Its corresponding contact is 1518, which will return to its default state after the delay set in the timer has expired. If we close the S contact to energize the K coil, immediately the K contact of the timer also closes, that is, it switches and allows the current to pass to turn on the H indicator. Up to this point, everything is fine, the disconnection delay process has not yet been enabled. Here comes the interesting part. If we open the S contact, then the disconnection delay time begins to time. When this time is up, the auxiliary contact K switches, that is, it opens, and the indicator H goes out. So, these are the two states in which you can set the timers, both for connecting and disconnecting circuits. For example, here is a Zelio modular timer relay from 24 to 240 volts in alternating or direct current, which I took as a reference from the Schneider Electric brand. This is a connection delay timer. Within the description that this device is printed, it does not explicitly tell us that it is a timer on delay or TON, but it gives us a diagram showing what specifically such a device is. Let's look a little more in detail. This device comes with two adjustment knobs for timing. The first knob is for timing range. With this rotary knob, we can set a delay time from 1 second to 300 hours. The second knob is for timing configuration, that is, to configure the percentage of delay time that will be fulfilled according to the range selected with the first knob. In addition to these two knobs, there is a green diagnostic button. I am going to briefly explain what the graphics and diagram on the side mean. The simplified connection diagram and the classic connection delay time diagram will be explained. Let's focus on the connection diagram. In this device, it has a slightly more complex diagram, but the one I am going to explain to you is almost the same, since we are not going to use the connection terminal Y1 that serves as a timer reset. 
This device has terminals A1 and A2 that serve to power the coil. It also has input terminal 15 and output terminal 16 and 18. Under normal conditions, that is, when the device is without power to its coil, we have Terminal 16 is a normally closed contact with respect to the input terminal or terminal 15, while terminal 18 is a normally open contact. Assuming the timer is set to a 10 second delay time, then by closing the U switch, it starts timing the delay time. When this time expires, it switches its auxiliary contacts, that is, the contact that was open closes and the one that was closed opens. These will remain in that position as long as the coil remains energized. If switch U is opened, then the auxiliary contacts return to their default state. I know that some have had some doubts, so let's look at an example of a small circuit using this type of connection delay timer. For this case I am going to use a thermomagnetic switch, which represents the U switch, I am also going to use two light bulbs as indicators. The power cables that reach the switch can be connected from an outlet or from the dashboard. For this example, it has been considered that the brown cable is phase and the light blue cable is neutral, and the voltage between them is 220 volts. The timer coil will be powered through its terminals A1 and terminal A2. Terminal 15 will be connected with the same phase line that reaches terminal A1. From output 16 and 18 the cables are taken to the indicator bulbs. And from the remaining terminals of the bulbs, it is connected and taken to the other power point. So in this way the entire connection would remain to check the operation of this timer. We are going to set a connection delay of 10 seconds. As soon as we close the U switch by raising the billet, the time counting begins. Be careful that the orange bulb lights up since it is connected to terminal 16 which is a normally closed contact. When the set delay time expires, auxiliary contact 16 and 18 switch and change state. Contact 18 is closed and contact 16 is opened. If we lower the U switch lever to de-energize the timer coil, contact 16 and 18 immediately return to their default state. This is how this device works. Obviously, it is not only used to turn light bulbs on or off with a delay, but it can also be used to control motors. But this device is not connected directly to an electric motor since it is a control or maneuver device, not force or power. To do this, a contactor must be added, but the connection of this circuit will be seen later. Now let's see how a delay timer should be connected to the disconnection to see how it works. For this case, the RE22R1KMR series timed relay was taken as a reference, which is a disconnection delay timer, also from the Schneider Electric brand. The connection is similar to that seen for the TON timer, with the difference that the power supply for the coil is independent of the power supply for the bulbs. The operation is as follows. If we close the switch that powers the bulbs, immediately the orange bulb that is connected to terminal 16 lights up, and this happens because the terminal corresponds to a normally closed contact. Now, if we close the switch U to energize the timer coil, its contacts immediately switch, thus allowing the green bulb that is connected to terminal 18 to light. If we open the U contact to de-energize the coil, then the disconnection delay time begins to time. When this time is up, contacts 16 and 18 switch to their default state. So this is how timers work. There are also multifunction devices that are TON and TOF at the same time, but the operating principle is the same as those shown here. Pneumatic and digital timers work the same way.
Up here and at the end I am going to leave the videos where the connection of a circuit using the type of timer is explained. Also, at the end of this video you will find the link so you can see how to control electric motors with these timers. Go and take a look.